Happening today, President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan goes before the Supreme Court. The plan would either reduce or eliminate debt for millions of Americans. It faces two challenges in the high court. Lakin McGee is following the story. Lakin, what's at stake and what will the justices consider? Well, we know that the Biden administration says that 26 million people have applied for student debt relief. Of those, 16 million people have already been approved for up to $20,000 in forgiveness. So they're just really eagerly waiting a decision. So according to the Education Data Initiative, there are more than 906,000 student loan borrowers living in Indiana. Each one owes an average of $28,000. Six Republican-led states are suing, arguing that the plan is a clear violation of Biden's executive authority. Two students also filed a lawsuit against it. Both have student loans, but one is ineligible for relief because her loans are commercially held. The other student is not eligible for the full amount because he did not receive a Pell Grant. Borrowers from across the country camped outside the Supreme Court last night and protested with Democratic lawmakers. We all have tremendous amounts of student debt because of the predatory practices of our capitalist economy. Two big critics of President Biden's plan are Senator Mark Wayne Mullen and Representative Kevin Hearn, each tweeting the U.S. citizens can't pick up the tab every time a student loan uh, borrower has something like this. So some Republicans saying student loan forgiveness is bad policy. So far, Republican appointed judges have kept Biden's plan from going into effect. It remains to be seen how the Supreme Court, dominated six to three by conservatives, will respond. So we know that the arguments are scheduled for two hours and it plans on happening at 10 o'clock this morning. It is likely that they're going to need more than two hours to discuss this. I'm Lake and McGee for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.